Look at just about any kind of network connection today and you'll find Cat5e cable. It's been the most widely used network cable since 2001 and handles signals up to 100 megahertz. So you find Cat5e handling 10 base T, 100 base TX, and 1000 base T ethernet networks. But the actual power levels that Cat5e sees when used in these kinds of networking applications is relatively low, on the order of a few hundred milliwatts. However, Cat5e is now also used in power over ethernet applications where it must handle significantly more power than in ordinary networking. In contrast to ordinary ethernet signals having power in the range of hundreds of milliwatts, the latest power over ethernet standard called high PoE allows for delivering between 90 and 100 watts through Cat5e cable to a load. The operating voltage for this mode of operation is 50 volts DC. That implies that the Cat5e cable is carrying a little less than 2 amps of current when it operates in high PoE environment. Now you might wonder whether a cable originally designed to carry power levels measuring in the hundreds of milliwatts can safely work in an environment characterized by 2 amps of DC current and loads dissipating 90 watts. If you look at the cable design specifications, they look fine on paper, but to check things ourselves, we put ordinary Cat5e cables that came with some consumer electronics into a simulated high PoE scenario. We assembled two RJ45 sockets and wired them to route power through the cable as defined by high PoE, with each of the four twisted pairs in the cable sharing the DC load. We then connected one end of the cable to a 50 volt power supply and the other end to a load resistor that would draw close to the 2 amp maximum involved in high PoE. Then we just waited and checked the temperature of the cable in various spots over the course of the test, paying particular attention to the bends in the cable where there could conceivably be some compromise to the cable conductors. Though this was an informal test, we figured any obvious cable problems were likely to show themselves after a few hours of handling a high PoE load close to the maximum spec. We're happy to report that absolutely nothing happened. We checked all along the cables we used with a spot thermometer numerous times. We never saw even a one degree temperature rise in our cables, even where they were bent. And even after a couple hours of handling the max high PoE power level. That said, we need to point out we didn't do an exhaustive test. We only ran our simulations for a few hours, not for days or weeks. And testing took place at room temperature, whereas the maximum operating temperature for Cat5e cables is 167 degrees Fahrenheit. Nevertheless, we're pretty sure that problems due to poor cable construction would cause a temperature rise sooner rather than later. So we think we have pretty much verified that it's okay to put high PoE power levels to ordinary Cat5e cable. That's it for us. For more videos like this one, go to eeworldonline.com.